few ways of knowing. The first one would probably be that you have gut problems. Yeah. Okay. So you're not feeling very good. You don't poop too often or you have diarrhea all the time or it's back and forth, back and forth. That isn't what you want. You really want to have, uh, if you're eating three meals a day, you want to have three bowel movements a day. Mm. Okay. Um, once every other day is not enough. Once a week is definitely not enough. You are considered Once a week? That very, sounds rough. Yeah, very rough. But some people are very used to that, <clears throat> and they need to get, um, they need to see a doctor. They need to get their bodies regulated. And some people will say, well, that's just hereditary. My mom was like that, or, or I've been like that my whole life. And, and um, whether you have or you have not, that is not good for your body. Yeah, how have you been eating your whole life? Right. That's a good question right there. Yeah. And and that means there's something going on because uh, you want to get that stuff out of you. You want to get that old, the waste matter eliminated out of your body as quickly as possible in a healthy way so that it doesn't stay in there and cause disease because it can cause disease. It can mm. cause a lot of problems in your body and even just low stomach acid low hydrochloric acid that's what our stomach acid is called even that can cause so many many disorders you wouldn't even believe the number of disorders that just low stomach acid causes yet people think that they have too much stomach acid and they start taking antacids it's very rare that you find someone that has too much stomach acid Mm. everybody that has indigestion has low stomach acid so to remedy sure. that is you would take a, a one to three teaspoons of ap- Bragg's apple cider vinegar. And I say that because it has the mother in it, it has good, right, the right pH. Well, maybe it. this is a stupid question, but what is indige- indigestion? Like, is that just having a hard time processing your food? It is. But what happens is that because you don't have enough stomach acid, your your food begins to, your, your stomach is like a... Um, I mean, it is just churning, churning, trash churning. Can? Yeah, it I'm just churns. Kidding. It's kind of like that. It's like a trash <laughs> compactor, know. you know. <laughs> yeah. That's a good example. But it's just, it's a like. Disposal. But, but with jet engines. And you don't feel that. I it, mean, I was making fun of it when I said trash can. <laughs> I, I think we had a health coaching session once where you were telling me that people just treat their stomach like a trash can and they just. I don't know. I yeah, don't know it is kind. Of, well, some people in like a negative, that. I was like, food. I was saying it in a negative way. <laughs> well, our stomachs are like the furnace. Yeah, no, yeah, it makes sense. You're feeding. you you know, in the old days, you would put charcoal. Analogy. You would put coal in the furnace. It would burn it for fuel. Yeah, and, and that's really simple.